Tonight there are 30,000 properties across the city sitting empty. Plenty of choice, a downward pressure on rents. Uh, these are good times uh, to be a tenant. There are currently more than 23,000 units available across Sydney. That's nearly double this time last year. The city and eastern suburbs responsible for almost a third of those vacancies. There are more than 3,000 places available in our west, 4,000 in the inner west, 900 in Canterbury and Bankstown. More Airbnbs looking for longer tenants, fewer international students and more first home buyers combining to result in a drastic drop in people looking to rent. The biggest drop in rental prices came in the city where the median price dropped from $828 a week last year to $690, a fall of 16%. There were also big price drops in Piermont and Mascot. But here in Parramatta, the markets have bucked the trend. Rents growing 4.4% in the last 12 months. You have the growth coming in. We're bringing in more units. There's more infrastructure going on. There's more development. Obviously, that means that there's going to be more jobs. Auctions and house sales have sprung back to pre-COVID levels, but experts warn tougher times are on the horizon. Gumkontra 四月份的樓市的買賣開始復甦增加了25% 第三就是歸功於政府的不同的 Hyogo 就是當中四月和五月自己互相抵消你要留意現在全國下調的幅度是一點三 啊，咁你睇到咧，其实咧，虽然啲楼咧就唔容易下调嘅，啊，所以好多有实力嘅人咧，其实就趁呢个机会咧，所谓执死鸡啦。咁我哋啱啱讲咗咧，六月份咧，
，所以呢，呢度可以咁講呢，就話 s y d n e y 嘅 high end market 呢，從呢個 econ 嘅角度嚟講呢，可以稱為一個好 elastic 嘅 market 啊，一個彈性係好大嘅，即係話呢，只要有少少風吹草動呢，佢就會轉向嘅啊,啊。如果話當個經濟好轉呢。最先去上升呢，亦會係去啊！所以呢個亦係呢啲咁嘅 e c o n o m i s t 呢，佢哋所注視住嘅。咁啊，舉例子俾大家睇啦，就係話由三月尾到五月尾呢 s y d n e y 嘅 m o s m a n 呢就跌咗二點五 percent 啊，個數字都幾犀利啊！誒、uh, l i n k o f l o v e 呢就係二點四個 percent，Many 啊呢啲咁嘅旅遊度假區呢，好靚嘅沙灘就係跌咗二點三 percent。呢個 Lika 呢，誒呢度好方便嘅地方呢，就係一點七個 percent。仲有一個地方咧，就係 v a n v e r Pond 嗱，呢個就唔係貴區啦，呢個咧就係有好龐大供應嘅區域啊，佢就跌咗一點四個 percent。咁而調翻轉喎，啊，當人人都跌嘅時候咧，就唔係個個區都跌嘅咧。大家睇睇咧，呢、這個 Black Town 咧就係升緊零點二 percent。Paramata 呢個區域出嚟又係升緊零點二 percent 喎，即係喺呢個新聞廣播嘅時候咧，當個個租務市場都跌嘅時候咧 ，Paramata 咧喺過去一年咧升緊四點四 percent 嘅，即係話。佢租務又升，啊！佢嗰個買賣都升喎，嚇、啊！咁你睇到呢啲真係啲實力區域嚟嘅。好啦，咁呢個 Outer South West 就升咗零點五 percent， 嚇！即係話 Liverpool 啊，呢、這個 Capramata 啊嗰啲咧，仲更加升喎，嚇！唔知咁喎，再遠啲嘅呢個 Outer West and Blue Mountain， 即係去到 Pamir 嗰啲地方咧，就升咗零點七 percent。所以呢，就話個大市可能跌，但係呢，就視乎你買邊區。啊、每一區咧都受其他嘅因素影響嘅，受嘅 supply demand 啊，同埋咧就話嗰區本身會唔會已經係升突咗嘅？咁專家們嘅結論咧就係話咧，前面嗰個樓市咧仍然係睇嗰個 economy 點樣轉變、啊、基本上咧，如果個疫情係受控嘅話咧，個經濟係開始慢慢反彈咧，樓市就反彈、啊、否則嘅話，如果個 economy 係慢慢慢慢係陰乾陰乾嘅話咧，個樓市係無可避免咁樣咧，就會向下落嘅。好啦，咁最後我再同大家睇睇呢個租務市場同呢個物業市場兩者實際上咧有啲咩關係？佢嘅擁有者咧可以稱之為一個 p r i v a t e buyer， 佢嘅錢咧已經用咗嚟買佢手頭嘅物業啊！佢對於呢個上代購買嘅物業市場咧，可以咁講咧係再冇影響力。當然，除非咧就話佢連自己手頭嘅物業咧都把持唔住，需要掟出嚟放，咁呢個又係後話啦。呢一啲嘅擁有者咧，可以稱之為咧係 hundred percent 嘅 investor。而嗰個市場價格咧，就純粹咧係受呢個供求定律影響嘅啫。好啦，咁我哋睇睇呢個物業嘅售賣市場喎。佢嘅購買者咧就有三類啦。第一類咧就係仍然係有所謂嘅 investor 啦。而第二類咧就係話呢 first home buyer 啦。咁好多時候啲年青人或者第一次澳洲買樓嘅人咧，都可以 enjoy 到呢啲咁嘅 lawyers 嘅。咁第三類咧就係啲換樓人士啦。物業市場嗰個價格咧主要受三個因素影響。第一就係話呢個長期嘅資產價格嘅改變、啊、因為一般人供樓咧二十至三十年嘅，所以咧物業嘅擁有者咧去睇佢嘅價值咧，就係、是、會用一個長時間嘅方式嚟去量度嘅。第二就係受呢個供樓嘅利息影響，第三咧就係受呢個失業率。但係咧呢、這個失業率咧，只係對嗰啲 f a s h i o n buyer 咧會有多少影響啫喎？對嗰啲換樓人士啊，或者係對其他有實力嘅人，嗰啲 investor 啊嗰啲，佢哋正正咧就係趁呢個樓價跌嘅時候咧。就係執平貨，因為睇嘅時空咧係有成二三十年咁長，所以咧呢、這個租務市場同呢個物業市場咧，可以咁講咧，佢哋兩者嘅關係咧係近乎 d e c o u p l e 少之又少。好啦，咁今日嘅分享就到呢度為止，希望呢啲資料咧能夠幫到大家。好多謝大家收睇，拜拜。